This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. Oh, looky here, what have we got? We've got the Blackmagic 6K EF mount. But is this magic or is it tragic? Oh, let's go. Look at those sunglasses. Yes, the BMPC 6K is here. The name is still ridiculous and long, but it's offering up lots of potential silly goodness for a not too bad a price. So it's exactly the same body, pretty much the same body as the Blackmagic 4K, which was a Michael Four Thirds mount. I've even got the small rig cage, which is meant for Blackmagic 4K on it. It fits, same size. It's just this bit here is a little bit deeper, sticks out a bit more. That's because it uses EF lenses, SLR lenses, DSLR lenses, whatever. And that's what I've got on here, an EFS lens. Because it's 1.5 times crop, Super 35, you can vlog with it. Okay. Vlogging, vlogging with a Blackmagic 6K EF mount camera. <laughs> I mean, it's lightweight enough. It's made of some kind of carbon fibre mix, polycarbonate carbon fibre mix, hybrid fusion of it, which basically means it's posh plastic, but there we go. Different mount, different sensor, but fits the same cage. It's essentially the same main part of the body with a new neck stitched on. Same feels to 4K. This costs a little bit more than the Michael Four Thirds version because obviously bigger sensor, but that is the good thing. We like big sensors, right? The Micro Four Thirds sensor, it's tiny, it's like that size. Now everything's Super 35, exactly what we want. I think the Micro Four Thirds mount BMPC C4K is great value, which is probably why it's impossible to buy. I would have thought it was mythical like unicorn poo if I hadn't already handled one. In use, the body, same of, and that is a good thing. But the great thing about the Blackmagic Pocket Camera is that it's so damn easy to use. All it has are the video functions. It doesn't have any of your photo stuff, which means there's not many buttons to do things, or just enough buttons to do things. Minimal buttons just for your video stuff makes sense for pros and also for noobs trying to figure things out. Experience is made better with that big thing staring at you. And a big five inch screen, which is touchy feely, look. The menus, that's so idiot proof. It's mostly quite easy to understand and kind of easy to see in this kind of light. Although I, I am just looking at a reflection of myself. Yeah, maybe that big thing staring at you is you. Anyway, one thing that you do get in the 6K that you don't get with the 4K is that it shoots 6K. 6K, black magic raw, 6K. What have we, what have we got here? 3.7K anamorphic, nice. The 6K is only black magic raw, not in ProRes, unfortunately. ProRes can be chucked into Final Cut Pro nicely. You can only put the 6K black magic raw through their own DaVinci Resolve software though. But what if I want to stick to Final Cut Pro only? Still, 6K looks very nice, unsurprisingly. With dual ISO of 430-200 as the 4K version, I find that you can get some pretty decent results up to ISO 12800. Shadows show a bit of noise, but not bad considering the shot was underexposed in the first place. Unfortunately, it doesn't have IBIS, so you have to use lenses that have stabilisation or put it on a tripod or a gimbal. Oh, it's gonna look a little bit wobbly. No. no IBIS, not strange for a cine camera, but would have been a nice addition, I guess. It's a great camera for using handheld. Mind you, it was pleasantly surprising that I could get some decent stable shots. Now, this is quite interesting because obviously it's Canon mount. This <laughs> is probably the best Canon mount camera in this kind of price bracket for filming. If Canon are not gonna give you those video features for around that kind of price, somebody else is gonna do it. Now, I'm not sure if the EF mount really is the best choice in 2019. I've got my reservations about that, but chucking that aside, the video from the BMPCC 6K looks sweet. Colors look great. If we're just looking at the files, there's not much fault to find. One thing I do wish it had is some form of a tilty screen. It doesn't, doesn't have to flip out for selfie stuff, but just something that does that, because when you're filming upwards or you know low level stuff, you can't see shit. Also, a brighter screen would help to be able to see the screen a bit better in daylight. You don't get the same brightness as you would on the external monitor. Despite some of its quirks and minor issues here and there, I like the BMPCC 6K as I do the 4K. 
at $2,500, you get a hell of a camera for video, even if the crop is 1.6 times. It's still a bigger sensor than Micro Four Thirds. I mean, Tony, he says Micro Four Thirds is dead. I just smell weed everywhere. <laughs> when you press the button, this one doesn't have any focus at all. I don't think it does anyway. What am I saying? Hang on. Oh, hang on. It does focus. It's kind of random how it does it. It, it sometimes does focus, sometimes it doesn't focus. Yeah, it's no dual pixel focus, is it? Ha, you don't need autofocus with this camera. There is one thing that you do need to prepare yourself for though. One, one problem with this, however, is battery life. It's already on red. I've literally been shooting a few minutes and the battery's been set to, I don't know what percentage that is, but it's red. I mean, the, the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, the battery life wasn't good. This has got a bigger sensor. It's the same Canon battery. So of course the battery life is gonna be poorer. I mean, this is a pocket camera. This, it's in the name. It's supposed to be for handheld stuff, but there's really no point in rigging it up with extra power, because you're just making it heavier. So then you should just buy a proper cine camera, right? This is gonna be the shortest review ever. Not because of anything about the camera, not because I hate the camera or anything like that. The camera just won't let me review it. There's just not enough power. I've only been given one battery. So yeah, if you really want to use the Blackmagic Pocket Cine Camera 6K, you need a shit ton of batteries to go with it. <laughs> I've barely shot anything. Oh, oh, what? And that's it. <laughs> it's lit. that is it. It's just run out of batteries. Thanks for watching. See ya, subscribe. With an official Canon battery, you'll get close to an hour of continuous recording. If you're taking numerous shots, stopping and starting, switching the camera off, with a third-party battery, it felt like it was closer to half that. It takes beautiful footage for not that much money. It's small, well, not that small. It's lightweight anyway, almost 1.5 times crop. It seems a good option for those who have a set of EF lenses at $2,500. But the decision to choose the smaller sensor 4K or this APS-C 6K is tougher than you might think. Add a $650 Metabones Ultra for 1.43 times crop and it still costs less than a 6K, plus more options with other lens mounts. The EF mount sort of limits the possibilities in that respect, so the 6K really makes sense mainly for EF mount lens owners or people who need 6K, extra room for cropping or things like stabilizing the footage. It's a good camera for the money, but a 4K is incredible value for money, if you can find one at all. Just before we go, one final shout out to sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you want to set up your own website, online store, or just your own domain name, you can transfer over your existing ones super easy too. Take advantage of this free trial today and also get 10% off your first purchase. Why do I use Squarespace? Because it's super easy to use and there's a plethora of award-winning templates and 24-7 customer service if things go a bit pear-shaped. So yes, if you want to make your next move with Squarespace all in one platform for building beautiful websites, you can take advantage of that free trial and also that 10% discount I just mentioned by clicking the link in the description box below and entering the code KAI. Thanks for watching, see you again, bye-bye. Just want to introduce behind the camera, holding the camera right now, somebody I haven't met for ages. Turn the camera on yourself, Jonathan.